Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And we're solidly into July, so that means it's time for Olight's summer sale. And some of the things that they're going to be offering are really innovative. And uh, I got a few to play around with, and I thought I'd show them to you. Um, simply because uh, they are new directions in the lighting space. And that's what always gets me excited, is new options. So let's take a look at things. Uh, start out with this guy. Uh, Olight has experimented in the lantern space, and lanterns are an unusual kind of lighting tool in that there are many different directions you can go, and many of them are based on kind of uh, vintage designs. Um, there, are, there are a lot of different things that we like about lanterns, and some of it has to do just simply with what we experienced as kids, what we were familiar with. Um, they call this moss green. Um, I think green has other taste or other other meaning to us. Uh, many of us grew up with the Coleman. This is a silver one because I've upgraded to the dual fuel. In fact, still have fuel in it. I don't know if I've even started this one with those particular mantles there and this, uh, you know, glass chimney uses kind of the pagoda style lid. These things kicked out around 800, 900 on a really good day uh, lumens. Um, if you take a look at the specs on the Olight Lantern, it's actually running two different lighting systems. It's kind of interesting. Let me shut this off and go walk through it. So when you turn this gas cap here, um, it starts out with kind of these classic orange um, LEDs. Now these things run from 10 lumens about now on up to about 130 lumens here. Um, you know, the, even though that's 13 times more light, it's really harder to tell because the, the human eye doesn't perceive a doubling in lumens as a doubling in brightness. But anyway, that's kind of got that old school uh, sort of Coleman-esque lighting uh, that that's great for the evening, it's ambiance, it matches kind of um, sundown, where you know a sunset, and that's better at night than these blazing white LEDs that we often use uh, right before bed. But anyway, so we've cranked it up, um, we've got about 130 here, and then it kicks into this more modern white LED. It's a cool white, and that thing cranks from 130 on up to 300, and that's more area lighting. Um, and in my tests, in actual true darkness, um, not just not city darkness, but in real darkness, which certainly I didn't find any of that when I went up to Canada and Alaska. I mean, I was at one point just a couple hours shy of the Arctic Circle where it's literally the sun does not set. And I did camp one night at Lake Labarge, you know, the land of the midnight sun. If you've, you're a Robert Service fan, uh, he wrote a poem called The Cremation of Sam McGee, and that was on the marge at Lake Labarge. Uh, a lot of mosquitoes there. But anyway, this kicks on up to 130 to 300, which is the actual work light. And in my darkness tests, I found 10, 15 feet of area lighting was actually pretty good. Um, you could use that. Uh, is it better than this? I think it's way better than this. This is, I'm pointing out my Coleman here. This is actually, it's used as a liquid fuel. It can use gasoline. It can use white gas. Um, it, very hot. This is a glass chimney here, and we'd often have extras, you know, to replace those. Super hot. Uh, you had to fire this thing up. If you had old mantles, um, you know, that ran inside these. Some of those had thorium in them and were radioactive, so you really didn't want to breathe it if you broke one open. So I like the uh, the size of this. It runs with an 11,200 milliamp battery. And because of all that power, you can actually use it to charge devices. Let me kick on a light so you can see inside here. And what's neat about this is it charges a standard USB-A, but also it's got a USB-C. Now, you can use... The, um, the traditional Olight uh, magnetic charger, that fits on there just fine. It does not come with one of these. What in it instead comes with is a USB-C cable because you can charge it with that. So it also means you have an output for charging your phone or other electronic devices. So here I've got a, an old iPhone and a USB-C See if you can see that. And when I plug it in, you'll see the iPhone kick on right there and it starts charging. So that's kind of a novel idea. You know, let's use both output and input 
in our USB-C. Um, this seems like a plastic base here, uh, but this is metal. If I tap on it, that sounds like metal there, plastic there. Um, it has two, two hanging points. One, this is right on the very top. Um, I guess if you were running a little carabiner or something, but it also has a handle um, up here. Now, what I like about it is you can tell the engineering, they spend a little time using this. And if you notice, this floats just above the edge. It doesn't fall down behind it, but it allows you to grab it without any trouble. Um, whereas if it landed right in here, you'd probably have to pry it up from you know the sidewalk here in order to grab it. But this allows you, you know, you can see the overhang right there. It's little things like that that make a difference. Now the shape, the position of the lines, such as this, this cage over this, I assume some sort of, some sort of polycarbonate plastic globe, um, these actually have, um, you know, more kind of traditional um, appeal, not necessarily functional appeal. Um, and it makes it a lot stronger. It does have an IPX5 rating and it's supposedly drop tested um, to, uh, you know, enough of, enough of a distance that, you know, hopefully it won't break. It's very solid. This is metal. This is metal. This is metal. This is metal. I mean, it all seems really, really well put together. It's heavy. It is not as heavy as this, but this is over 26 ounces. It's a beefy little lantern. Um, I like it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I guess I do have some, some history with old lanterns, so I'm not, um, you know, looking at it. It's called a skeuomorph, if you want the technical term. And what that is, is anachronistic uh, features. They don't really serve a purpose, but they make us feel better. And you could argue maybe that orange light, um, although it is, there are health effects, you know, especially at nighttime rather than blasting out, you know, some bright white light, um, you know, moving away from blue light into this orange light. But the shape I mean, you don't need this dual lid pagoda. That was for heat distribution, like on the Coleman's here. Um, you know, that's what it's taking its form from. Um, but we're not trying to dissipate heat. I cranked it up full blast, let it sit for quite a while. Could barely tell, no, almost no warmth. Um, you know, why, does, why is this like this? You know, it's because we used to have a big old knob here, or maybe they wanted this knob here, or the pump, if you know how to use one of those. Um, but overall, you know, it's just a really nice, pleasant light. It just sits well, lights up an area, seems to uh, really serve a, a, a good purpose. Let's move on. Uh, they've also updated their O-Bulb. Um, here's the, o, the older O-Bulb MC that's multicolor. This is the O-Bulb Pro. And I've actually stuck it in my little guy. Doesn't quite fit, but I really like that thing. Here's the thing about that. I'm going to cut the light again here, and if you give this a, a watch really quick, um, what you're looking at is a bulb and an app. And so I'm going to run this thing so you can see what it does. I can turn it on and crank it up. Um, this particular one, uh, it, I'm running it just in the white mode. I can go to green, blue, I can fade through different colors at different brightnesses. Um, I can make it jump around, various things. I can link these together if I have multiple ones. I can actually walk up on a campsite and turn on my light from a distance because this has just been sitting here. I can turn it off and it'll just sit there. And as long as there's any battery charge in this thing, um, which it lasts quite a while, all I do is crack open my app, which connects to this Bluetooth and fire it up. So that's kind of a neat feature. Um, and you can string these together, put them into groups, and actually if you had multiple ones, you could literally have a, uh, a campsite lit up by them. It does have a magnetic base on this thing, um, which, you know, there I can stick it and upgrade my Coleman light here pretty fast. Um, and this particular one also works with the same ability to tap it and work through some things or shut it down. I stuck the little eyeballs on it. I like that Olight doesn't take their products too seriously because they make really good products. They're really innovating in this space. And as I've mentioned before, you actually have all kinds of possibilities in lighting that they're exploring that don't necessarily um, you know, follow traditional trends. Um, here's another one. 
Look at this. This is the new, um, if you look at that, it's the iMini. Now, I love these keychain lights. In fact, this one here, you know, has been to, uh, this one just came back from Alaska. Let me crank my light on here to show you a little more. Uh, look how worn that thing is because it's been beat up. I mean, this is literally, I don't know, six months old or so, um, but I have used it a ton on, you know, my key ring, you know, as I'm traveling. And here's an example of some of the previous Olights or some of the, the other options. This was their first one here. Um, this is the IR2. Uh, and this guy here, uh, simple twist design, pop it open. Um, you can see it had the USB um, charge, USB, whatever that is, the micro USB charging. Simple little one. I use this a lot. This was their larger one. This was the Pro. Um, I did a review on that um, and the Stars and Stripes as well. This is the one that I carry. You know, it's the same as the Pro. It is a Pro, basically. Right there, you can see it's the I, I1 R2 Pro. Uh, a little bit different knurling on it. Um, but then this is the new one. Look at this guy. They went down in size. It's got a really hefty magnet in it. To fire it up, look at this. You just simply pull it out a little bit and it comes up with a 10 lumen light. Now this is only good for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes isn't a long time, but it actually, if you're using it um, for seconds at a time, maybe to find a keyhole, you know, trying to get into a, a house or something. Now you might think, well, this is a little rough to use. Well, check this out. So here it's on. See that? You just pop it up, but you can also just pull it out and it's on. This is a magnetic housing that holds it and there's a little switch in the back. So I can literally break this free and then use it for my area lighting and then it just snaps right back in. Literally, look at this magnet to power here. Did you see that? Was that too fast? Let me try it again. Watch this. There it is, winning a little crooked there. Pops it off as soon as it gets in, lights off. Amazing little light. Um, this one does run on three. These are, uh, I believe these are LR, or L, LP LR41 batteries. Now I looked these up on Amazon um, and you can buy them by the tens or the hundreds if you want you know, for not a lot of money. They're little button cell batteries. So what's odd is, you know, Olight has moved away from the charging here, but that allowed to make them this amazingly little tiny light. So it comes in a couple different colors. Um, there's a black version, there's a red version, and then their summer sale, they're gonna have a screaming deal on these. Um, and given that I use this maybe four or five times on the whole trip, probably for under a minute the entire time, um, and that was to, you know, check a water level, look in an engine compartment, get under the dash, um, literally just to check something. Honestly, that's perfect. You can go back to a smaller design. It does have a powerful magnet, so I would recommend probably using a, a non-ferrous key ring because it tends, you see how it pulls onto that? This is a, this, this has iron in it, this particular key ring, so it snaps to it. Not a big deal. Um, so, I've got my lantern, I've got my O-bulb running on the app, I've got my new little light here. Last thing, oh, by the way, they oh, if you've got the O-bulb, um, they send you a plate here. I can pop this off. It's got a sticker on the bottom if I want to mount this somewhere because this has got a pretty strong magnet. Remember, as I showed you here, whoops, showed you here on this, it easily sticks on this, um, on this light. But you can also adapt it. If you have a non-magnetic surface, non-iron non surface, you can just stick this on. But anyway, this is the last thing I want to show you. They've upgraded their baton. Now, this thing kicks out 200 more lumens than my Surefire PX3 Fury. This is 1,000. This is 1,200 lumens on full blast. But I usually don't need that. And as I mentioned in in my, um, you can see there's a little tiny bit of half lumen light there. Kicks out half lumen um, uh, on up to uh, 300 cycling through and then the 1200 if I wanna go to the full blast. Um, but anyway, this particular thing is in stainless steel, which is kinda neat. That, you're watching this, aren't you? I can tell. 
Um, but anyway, stainless steel, so it's got a bit of heft to it. It feels really good in the hand. Excellent knurling. Very nice design. Uses, again, that standard Olight um, charging the MCC right there. Oh, by the way, if you use the MC or if you use this charging here and you're thinking clever, oh, I might hook up the USB C as well, it's going to prioritize the USB C. It's going to be faster charging. You can knock this thing off from empty to full in four hours. Now, this thing also on low speed um, has a hundred and on 10 when I'm running the uh, LEDs or the uh, orange, excuse me, at 10, I have 180 hours. Think two hours a night for three months. So this really does have some significant survival, kind of backup power outage capabilities, plus the charging. Uh, but anyway, back to this Baton 3, a lot of heft. This is a kind of one of those Gucci pocket EDC items. Excellent performance, overkill. I mean, the, there's no way you can damage a stainless steel light like this. Um, you know, anodized aluminum, I've scuffed them up, and you saw here, that doesn't really hurt them, but just, it just feels really good in the hand. Beautiful design. I appreciate the, the innovation that Olight is putting into all of these things. By the way, the other, this goes 1,200 full blast. It weighs 3.3 ounces. That's hefty. This is also heavy. So it's kind of like Olight has gone into super innovation, Larger size, heavier products, um, but the performance just keeps increasing. And I think, you know, how much I paid for this guy way back, you know, not terribly long ago. This is a thousand lumen light, runs on three um, CR123 batteries. I really like the light, but considering I get similar performance out of something like this that I can charge every single day, just wonderful. Anyway, I've got some connection or some some information further down in uh, the description. Uh, use last best at checkout with Olight. Um, I I am just impressed. I mean, it's just every few months something neat, something cool. You know, thinking about Bluetooth applications, thinking about just going back in time and history. You know, using you know kind of traditional lanterns. I just I appreciate Olight. Um, yes. Uh, I, I am an Olight fan. Anyway, and so with that, Doc out.